All right, let's have some fun with NTPs, maybe. Okay, so as you know, in C++20, we got structural types. That means types that we can now use instances of that type as NTPs. But what if your class isn't structural? You know, you want to hide some stuff. And as soon as you have private members, for instance, oh no, you're suddenly not structural. You can't pass this as an NTTP. So what can you do? Well, the answer is always Lambda, right? If we wrap the thing inside a Lambda, here, for, imagine 42 is your NTTP. Um, you can pass it to a function, and then you can get the thing out of it and call it const expra. And this is fine. And this really is fine, because the standard says it is. Um, you're allowed to evaluate const expra functions, and the this argument, the standard says, that's OK. So what do you do? You macro it. You wrap it in a CX value macro, which also gives you a little nice concept you can write, because it detects a CX value t that we've exposed there. Um, and then you can pass your non-structural value to your function. And in fact, your function doesn't even need to be const expra. And of course, the function arguments are never const expra, but you can still get your const expra thing out. Wow. <laughs> All right, that was the serious part of the talk. <clears throat> Here we have a boring non-type template parameter. But spelunking the grammar is a good source of lightning talk material, I have found. <laughs> If you look at the grammar, it says, OK, what's the grammar production for template parameters? Type parameters, OK, and that actually includes template, template parameters. Um, or parameter declaration. Parameter declaration is the same production that is used for regular function arguments. And it's used for NTTPs. So I thought, let me try some stuff. Of course, template parameters can be const. That's fine. Does that mean? We only instantiate the template once, because that has to be const. Now you know what's coming, don't you? If it can be const, it can be volatile. <laughs> <laughs> what meaning could this have? Well, it obviously means don't memoize this template. <laughs> this works. The compilers are fine with this. <clears throat> I went a bit further, something that might actually be useful. Attributes. This might actually be useful, right? Clang is wrong, an attribute list can appear there. It's perfectly grammatical. <clears throat> uh, GCC doesn't mind this, but Clang, Clang says no. Um, now, next, I tried something that GCC didn't like. Virtual. I, I, really don't, I really don't know what it would mean. But GCC even says something wrong. It, it totally is inside a class declaration. <laughs> like, what, you, you see, GCC's just wrong there. Um, OK, so let's try out some other things. Um, wherever you can put an attribute, actually, in the attribute grammar production, you can put a line as. So I recommend cache aligning all your NTTPs <laughs> for faster compile times. <laughs> um, now, of course, you know there's something else coming up now, right? I don't know what this means either, but in C23, <laughs> we could do this. And this is totally a template parameter. What else would it be? It's there. Um, but I, yeah, I don't know what it would mean. If anyone knows what it would mean, tell the compilers. Um, yeah, so try telling your compiler not to memoize templates today. <laughs> Thank you.